Hi, I'm Steve for BoatTest.com, and today I'm on a new boat from Horizon PowerCats, the PC-68. Let's do a full features inspection, starting right here on the aft deck. It takes advantage of the boat's impressive beam with a 23-foot, 7-inch wide cockpit deck here. Overhead clearance, 6 feet 10 inches from the deck to the extended flybridge deck. Seating starts with this aft bench, forward facing, measures 10 feet 9 inches across. There's storage underneath the seats and to both sides. It faces this table which at 9 feet 4 inches is made for seating 8. Forward there's a buffet serving area with plenty of open counter space. An enclosed single basin stainless steel sink, storage underneath that and then there's refrigeration, ice maker, storage right alongside, ideal for fish rods, and we've also got storage right at the bulkhead. Stairs to both port and starboard lead us to swim platforms, to the side bulkhead, wash down and shower. There's storage and access to the 50 amp cord reel. The center platform is hydraulically actuated, has an 800 pound lift capacity, ideal for holding PWCs. Steps to both port and starboard lead us to the side decks. We'll take a look at the port side because over here there is also a cockpit control station that includes both bow and stern thrusters as well as the engine sticks. Side gates are to both sides of the deck as well. Now again, we're taking advantage of this yacht's impressive beam. We'd look at this 23 inch wide side decks. It's a tow rail that comes up four inches with rails topping out at 32 inches. I'd like to see a grab rail alongside here as well. And fully forward, there's a set of stairs leading up to the flying bridge deck, but let's take a look at that from the stern first. Here we've got a set of curved stairs leading to the flying bridge deck. Features start with a boat deck, 18 feet, eight inches across. There's a crane over on the starboard side, a 1750 from Steelhead. That's gonna be used to launch the tender off the stern or over to the starboard side. There are staple rails to the trailing edge of the deck that are removable to ease launching. This space will easily accommodate a 17 foot tender with a 115 horsepower outboard on it. With the tender removed, of course, we've got plenty of room for deck chairs, umbrella, serving area just ahead with more counter space, an electric grill, a freezer, and then storage. Transitioning inside, this whole area is surrounded by tracks so we can enclose it in isinglass, and that brings us to this seating over to the starboard side. Heading to the starboard side, there's J-shaped seating wrapping around a solid wood table, high gloss finish, it's on a high-low pedestal. This is also expandable. Ahead, there's a bench seat that measures 4 feet 10 inches between the padded bolsters. To port is the wet bar with a solid surface counter. Now behind the bar, great place for entertaining. There's an ice maker, a huge refrigerated drawer, storage, and then a single basin stainless steel sink. And at the port quarter, it's a day head. There's a curtain to close off the aft window, another one to surround the electric flush toilet, and there's a deck drain so that we can easily convert this into a wet head. This is all under the protection of the overhead six feet and nine inches off the deck. The helm is mounted to the port side of the deck. There are three large screens just in front, twin engine displays, interceptor tab controls, bow and stern thruster, of course the engine controls, double data display plus an autopilot steering wheel is mounted vertically just behind two seats are from stid they're adjustable fore and aft have flip down foot rest flip armrest and they recline now i like that these seats are on a base instead of a pedestal mount so we have storage going all the way under all the way across if you want to have another seat join the captain just grab one from the bar bring it on up simple solution there's a tempered glass windshield going all the way across the sides are open, giving us nice visibility to the side deck. This is a convenient vantage point because we can control the whole boat with a remote controlled dockmate. Now let's talk about this open side area for a bit. There are a couple of options on what we can do here. We can enclose it in isinglass. We can have side windows that are solid all the way across. There isn't an option for having them opening. And I like that because if you do have opening side windows, what have you got now? 
black line here, black line here, interrupting your clear view out. If you want to have the glass and still have air, we've well, got an overhead hatch, plus we've got a door that opens forward and a whole aft bulkhead that's open, so you've got plenty of breeze going through here. With all of this closed up, we can climate control everything nicely, so full glass is a nice option. A center companionway has storage to the sides that goes all the way to the outboard side, so it's huge. And this is an electrically actuated door, button on both the inside and the outside. And then a door closes just underneath, so we can really seal this whole deck off if we like. Now, as far as this area goes, Portuguese Bridge has L-shaped seating to both sides with a table on a high-low pedestal, so we can easily convert this setup over to this setup. I kind of like having the tables because this is where I'm going to be eating under the stars. Just ahead of it, four deck area with 32 inch high rails and look at this, inch and a quarter rails. What a spot to sit and enjoy the view. Now moving to the interior, wide open space. I mean, talk about taking advantage of this beam. It is a huge open area and it's an open floor plan so there are no bulkheads getting in the way and interrupting our sight lines throughout the whole area. Windows surrounding the whole deck, just beautiful. This layout has the galley up on the main deck and aft in between the serving areas for the aft deck and of course the salon just ahead. Other attractions for the galley, refrigeration, plenty of counter space, Induction cooktop, double basin stainless steel sink, dishwasher, plenty of visibility, and I'm also happy to see that there's an extraction fan above the stove. An island in the center with polar stone quartz with a waterfall effect, very nicely done there. It's an oven, plenty of storage, and notice around the front, stools are custom designed so that they can swing right out, and take a look at this, whole custom artwork made. There's even storage around to the side. Now, directly across, more storage, more of the beautiful counter work. Storage up above for stemware. This is all on drawers. And I'd like to see this being a little sorter so that they would hold position. It's an electrical panel. And then a sofa just ahead with a coffee table that's expandable storage behind and then of course more of the visibility that we were talking about earlier more counter space just ahead and storage including a wine chiller continuing forward windows all around keep that open atmosphere and that's coupled with the six foot 11 inch overhead clearance now all of this can be configured into an on-deck master stateroom or this salon layout and frankly I'm kind of torn between the two, but I do like this layout. It begins with L-shaped seating over to the port hand side and then wrapping across the front, surrounding an ottoman with a floating table in the center, over to the starboard side, 60 inch flat screen on an electric lift. Now, aside from the materials that we've already been pointing out, I have to say the fit and finish with Horizon is just second to none. It always impresses me how well they do. Perfect joinery work everywhere. And notice leather upholstery to the overhead, LED lighting, and then there's a separation of the spaces with this overhead treatment. Just quality work throughout. And as Horizon likes to say, quality breeds reliability. So instead of having the on-deck master, this one is located to the starboard side and forward. Let's take a look. We go down four steps to the private entrance. It begins with the berth facing a hall side window Get into some measurements first, 78 inches by 71 inches for the berth. Overhead clearance, six feet, seven inches, which leaves us with three feet, five inches over the berth. Beautiful woodwork again. And look at this, diamond stitch pattern to a leather inlay. Look at along the sides of the berth. Mother of pearl surrounded by quarter cut mahogany. Notice the waterfall effect to the nightstand. Beautiful diamond quilted headboard air conditioning vents just above. At the foot of the berth, a 32 inch flat screen TV, stereo just underneath, and then storage all the way underneath, plenty of counter space. And that leads us to the ensuite, which is down two steps. Nice job in this private ensuite. Dual vessel sinks on top of Corian counter, storage underneath, there's storage to the side, conveniently enough for both his and her products. There's a hull side window. Mirrors are just above each of the vessel sinks. Shame that they're covering that hull side window though, but nice that Horizon thought of that. 
easy peasy solution. Look at this. And now, clear view out the side. Walk in shower, there's a recessed area with a fiddle in front of it for product, and then the electric flush toilet. Now let's stick with the starboard side and we'll take a look at the guest stateroom. Can't help but notice the nice leather wrapped grab handles. And then one more entrance to the guest stateroom. Starts with the ensuite just over to the side, walk in shower, opening port light in the shower for ventilation, and then a hull side window just behind the mirror over the recessed sink that's into the Corian counter. And then we come up to a double berth stateroom, 78 by 29 inches. This, I think, if this were gonna be a charter boat, would end up being the crew space. Got plenty of shelf space for storage. And then right behind, take a look at this. Open the door to <laughs> a walk-in, air-conditioned, electrical room. And talk about quality from Horizon. This is a great example of it, where you can see everything behind the scenes. All the wire runs are nicely supported, labeled to perfection. The fact that they do all of this is just an example of the quality, breeding, reliability. And the fact that they even have this room is impressive in and of itself. Two more staterooms to the port hand side. Right at the base of the stairs, laundry, and notice how the doors slide in and out of the way once they're opened up. Nice feature. VIP is fully forward. Well, this has much the same features as the master that we saw earlier. Hull side window, 77 by 72 berth. Headroom, six feet, six inches, leaving us three feet, four inches over the berth. Same mother of pearl treatments to both sides. Nightstands, beautifully done. Big difference is there's a mirror on the forward bulkhead. And then as we come back out, we have the private ensuite. This one's got large walk-in shower, fixed hull side window, both forward and aft, mirror just over the sink that is recessed into the Corian counter, and then another electric flush toilet. Now coming out of this ensuite, the whole bulkhead of storage going all the way back to the next ensuite, which is right over here on the port hand side, much so a mirror image of what we just saw, and that leads us to the guest stateroom all the way aft with two berths, hull side window, mirrored bulkhead above a shelf, plenty of storage. There are so many features to like on this boat that we really just scratched the surface between the fit and finish, the roominess, the comfort level, and the quality workmanship. It's all coming together on the PC68 from Horizon Power Catamarans. And that's my full features inspection for BoatTest.com. I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.